Welcome back. Welcome. You're supposed to be my backup singer. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> this is Aisha, one half of this podcast. It's Lexi, the other half of this podcast. And this week, uh, we did Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. I feel like she's a pretty big name now. Yes. Also, I feel like I sound really sick on this. I apologize, everyone. I sound sick because I am sick. I don't have COVID. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like this is a... She's a fairly popular author. This book came out in... It came out literally like last month, I think. Did it? Oh, well, yeah, September 6, 2022. It technically, the novellas... Because this is three novellas put together. Into one. Into one. So the novellas had been out before. Oh. But she just bundled them into one book. I see. Okay. Um, okay. This is a paranormal romance. Reverse harem? I, yeah, reverse harem. Our, I think our, like, first, our first reverse harem? No. Scream no. for us was a reverse <laughs> This is a reverse harem. And it's like a true polyamorous relationship. I feel like it's more true than some of the other reverse harems that we've had where, like, the guys also have relationships with each other. No, because, like, like, okay, the definite, uh, like, obviously I'm not polyamorous. I did actually look this up, and I I consulted a friend who wants to be in a polyamorous relationship and has done, like, lots of research. Yes. So I can tell you that, like, this is... (sighs) Generally, they're all Most reverse harems are technically are technically yeah but they're not like it's not like sister wives were like do you can call no, that polyamorous no, no, no. but like no, it's not so like polyamorous is like everyone gets a relationship out of it regardless if it's romantic or platonic because you can have like a quad and then like one of them you have everyone has sex with one that's what usually no, happens is no. that it's a quad and you then like quad, all and then five like you like all three guys have sex with the girl but they don't have sex with each other no yeah, that's always how it is. In you know what books, this reminded me of? I meant like a quad, like two couples come together and they have oh. like a polyamorous relationship and then they're all kind of like together. You know what book this reminds me of? What? That Four Horsemen. We're like, you yeah, kind of are like, when is this going to be over? <laughs> the problem with the Four Horsemen is I had no fucking idea which one was which. Because, like, I think after the first... But they had one, bro- like, they had broady, one- moody one that, like, yeah, didn't like Yeah, but, like, like the her, thing is, I think her. you definitely swapped from the first book. Like, you read the first book, and then she was like, oh, I want another one. I want a different one to be swapped. For- so, like, or she just forgot which one it was. I don't know about that, but I think that's that what was- this reminded me of. Um, okay, Virgin Heroine. Yes. Um, yeah, that's all I have for tropes. Like, I don't, I don't know. There was wasn't very. It sounds, it sounds like this wasn't really tropey, but like, it, like it was, but like. Yeah, I think that's all I got too. Um, trigger warnings. Blood play. Blood play. Lots uh, of blood. Gory. Like it's pretty gory. It's a, like like there's a lot of blood. There's blood everywhere. It's always there's always blood. And they like involved. Like have sex and like in blood. Lots of like blood. literally one of the sex scenes. One of the guys rips out another guy's one of the other guy's throats and like they fuck in his blood. Yeah. While he's like holding his neck, healing, healing and watching them. So like it's very yeah. Like it it's if you're squeamish, I would I wouldn't. Yeah. Also, um, I put near death experience just because she almost dies. Like like once for sure. Like once, once like for very, sure. Very sure. But literally, like at the very in the at least in the first part, she every time like one of them feeds off her, like she almost fucking dies. Uh, I think they're better, but like there are some like there are multiple like. And then the other trigger warning I have is her like weird relationship with the pregnancy, because like the whole book, like stems on basically their plan and it's like we just get her pregnant and then that'll solve our problems like basically from the beginning it is definitely a breeding oh that, that could be a trope yeah breeding breeding kink but but then but then she gets pregnant and she's like Ugh. and like it actually is just 
because I, the problem and then was it, like, sucks all her power it, and her like yeah, it's energy. literally like described it as like it's literally like sucking the life out the of the life her. out of her. Very, it's very uh, Bella. very Bella. Yeah, from, from it's literally <laughs> sucking. Did, they, did I think she make a reference to that? I feel yeah. like she does. Like, it's it very Bella from her. Twilight. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, it was a weird like it. It was a very weird like. She just like I don't know how to describe it because neither of us are parents. Mm-hmm. So, but it just like I think was she, really like, it just rubbed me the wrong spent, way. A like, little bit, I guess. Yeah, well, I also think she didn't have like time to, to process it because she obviously found out at like the worst time possible. But she also was like, "Hey, we're just gonna get me pregnant." They were like, "Okay," and then she never really like. We yeah, they never really thought this through. They were like, "We got to get her pregnant in order to fix all of our problems." Fi- yeah, basically like overthrow her dad, her father. But then. But I don't think they, like, really thought that through because they didn't really... I don't think they thought of this, like, like, this baby as, like, an actual, like... A baby. An actual baby, an actual, like, going to be a, a yeah, person. Yeah, like, this is going to be a person. Like, they thought of, to... like, it as, like, an object of, like, we got to attain this object. And yes. then... Yes. That's the yes. thing. Yes, so, yes, like, yes, when yes. she got... When she finally yes. was, like, pregnant, she's, she's like, like, oh, yeah, this is, like, this is, like, a growing thing. Like, it, yeah, like, she has this moment of, like, okay, we have the thing now. Now I realize it's not just going to be a thing. It's going to be a person. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it, yeah, you're right. They, also, they... she doesn't, she finds out, like, by herself. So, should we go, should we, like, loop back to that? Yeah, when, we'll, loop back, we'll loop back to that thing. But, to like, that part in the story. I would, I would listen as a trigger warning because it is kind of weird how. It's not, like, Verity, like, so Verity has, like, a weird thing. I haven't with... read, I haven't read the book, but I've I will... heard really weird things It's about a weird thing it. with pregnancy. It's not that extent. It's just like she has a weird. She doesn't they, they like. Treat, they do treat it very much like an object. Like it's just a yeah. thing to obtain. And, and then when she gets like, but when, the when thing it is, happens, they're just kind of like, oh, the because uh, there's other people around her, and they're like, it's just a bunch of cells. Yeah. Also, also, this could be a weird. trigger warning. They do talk about abortion. They do. Like, like her I having say, a choice to like. I wouldn't say quite often, but like whenever this discussion comes up, they're like. What do you want to do? Yeah. Like, we are, we're like, here to support you. Because they talk about the plan B pill after yeah, the first time. Because they, they were like, go get me the plan B. She, and no, they, they don't get it, they but they get condoms. No, and then they just no, don't no, use them. They don't get, they get the plan B because she told Wolf to get the plan B. And then. They don't know what it's going to do to her. Cause yeah, because they're like, you're not really human. Yes. So this could, like, really just fuck, fuck with your you system. up. And I, which doesn't make any fucking sense. I, I mean, it, I guess so. Okay, we'll circle back to that part. So I would say, like, trigger warning, like, maybe read more into it before you decide. Um, the Goodreads rating was a 3.53. I get it. So 3.5. I, that I makes guess, sense to me. Because, like, I some people, so. some people, like, I, I, in particular, while I was reading the reviews for this, because, like, you know, like, some people just put, like, five stars for fucking everything. And it really bugs me. I don't anyway. know any of those people, but but anyway, I'm we, sure those well, exist. when you read Goodread reviews, you always have those like people who are like five star, five star, and you're just like uh, scroll past those because obviously they're like they're very biased reviews. Okay, I never read five star reviews. I that's just like the, <laughs> really? this is just this is advice. Goodreads advice. I never read five star reviews. I only read four or three star reviews because they usually <laughs> will tell you. They'll tell you like. Because they'll be like, oh, I really enjoyed this book, but I had problems with this, 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 and this. Or they'll go through the plot and they'll be like, but the reason this wasn't a five I like star the two is star review, this. like the one and twos, because people are like three or four. Because <laughs> sometimes, so, sometimes ra- people rate them when they don't finish the book. That's true. So like when you go like this has ten thousand ratings, which is really high. She has so a lot she's of- a lot of people read this book and rated it. Because yeah. I-, I would say yeah, like a three point five is. It's pretty it, it, accurate. It makes sense because some people this. You know what though? If this was something that like I was in the mood for, if I was just in the mood, because I just want you guys to know, all I do is fuck in this book. There's no yeah. plot. There's nothing. It's, it's kind of like Scream for us, but it's like just if you made it a longer book, it's like Scream. Yeah, I mean, you kind of get a little bit more information about the guys, obviously. But like, not really though. Like, not only really. The one only mm-hmm. only the one guy because y- you don't know anything no. about Rylan or Wolf. No, you got a little bit about Wolf, like at the a end. Little bit. But it was like it definitely felt like, 
oh, you know nothing about this character, so we like, gotta throw a little bit, a little bit of things in there. Because I thought to what make, was gonna happen is that each, each part, because it's broken into three parts, it was gonna be like focus on one guy and then focus on the other guy. No. And then the last guy should get the last book, except he didn't get it. Uh, he was the, just like this random is, guy though, who like, is, never got anything This about. is because I never read a book without reading some form of review. Okay. Uh, I don't I do not do that. So in a review, this said it's three novellas put together. And I was like, all right. And so I knew that going it, in, but I didn't, tell, I, didn't I didn't tell you that when I was like, let's read this Until book. Until I was reading it, and I was like, why is this so long? And you're like, well, it's three novellas put together. And I was like, that makes sense. It, it feels like... Parts three novellas put together so you do get like a recap at the beginning of every book almost where they like kind of talk about what happened last book yeah which like, just takes up a lot of on. extra space i guess i don't know this was like a five oh, over 500 page yeah and it felt long it felt I kept being long. like when is this gonna no you just because all they has to do like every time they would make like any progress in the plot they'd be like okay this needs to happen or like we gotta and do that this and then they would do like it would be like three pages of plot and then they'd be like okay let's fuck for three chapters yeah it was very yeah it, it was, was very, a lot of sex but the thing is it's like if i went into this book being like all i want is like, some is some fucking then like it, i kinda, think i would have a better experience does, with it it is very like scream for us we're like the only reason you get more characters is because it's three novellas put on one but if you really just took it for one like one is what it was you it's kind of similar like yeah i guess i think better overall still I think a but little like bit, a little bit better overall simply because like i just think that to be honest if, i think i would have rated it better if i read each novella separately and rated each novella separately versus rating it together because the thing with scream for us it was just like she did not question anything. She was like, all right, yeah. I'm going to go with these like three really bad men who beat the shit out of everyone in this party. And then in this one, she like, I think I like the main character better in this one. And I think that's why I had a little bit of a better time. I guess, yeah, I would say Mina is, but she's also 25. She's 25. Versus I, like 20 or 19. Yeah. So like, I mean, part of it's that. So this is a single POV. Yes. I kept waiting for it to... Ha- I kept waiting to get another chapter. I do wish they had other POVs in it. Yeah. Like, I was waiting for one of the other guys to get a POV, but that never happens. You hear the whole book from Mina's point of view. Um. Okay. Let me read the back of the book. Three power- powerfully alluring vampire men and one queen to rule them all. All Mina ever wanted was to escape her father's control. Half human, half vampire, she lived internally torn between two worlds, never fully experiencing the pleasure of either, until her father chose to chose her as the pawn in his latest political move, gifting her to the darkly powerful and j- dangerously seduct- s- seductive Malachi Zion. Zion? I don't how to pronounce it. I, you don't know anything don't about know. their last I've, names. I'm so really like... bad at pronouncing names. Uh, Malachi is not a vampire to be trifled with. He rules with an iron fist and has a reputation for the darkest sins. But the longer Mina spends with him, the more she realizes he's not the monster she first thought. And as fear bleeds into lust, then trust, then something more, Malachi opens Mina up to a world she's ne- she never knew could be hers for the taking including the love of Malachi's two closest friends and companions. Now, surrounded by all three men, the center of her shockingly seductive world, Mina may finally have the power to face down her father, take back the life and crown that by all rights should be hers. Long live the queen. I don't think that was accurate. That was not accurate at all. (laughs) Because... Like he there's has a no, reputation for no, do- yeah. What? I was like, there's no <laughs> reputation. He just that. he's known for like being stuck in this house, like being stuck in the house, and also everyone they send into this house dies, dying. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how like that. Yeah, they make it seem like Malachi is like this, like tyrant, and he's yeah. like no, no, they like make like, it nice the whole time. They make it seem like he's like a Dracula type of character. But he's he's not. But he's not. He's ever. like I'm stuck in this house, literally like prison stuck in this house cuz there's a blood war, so we cannot leave. Yes. And he's basically just starving to death. Yeah, pretty much. 
Until her father decides to feed him. Yeah. By Mina, in this case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they make him seem, like, really evil. Or, like, he's supposed to be, like, a very, like, anti-hero. He, he is actually just a hero. He's not, like, an anti-hero yeah, I at all. Think I found, like, if, I would say, like, Wolf was more, it's anti-hero. more of, like, ha- anti-hero. Yeah. But Malachi is d- was consistent throughout the entire thing. Yeah, and he was just, like, really nice the whole time. Yeah. And really supportive. Because he was, like, and, like, very... Because, like, at the, well, when they first meet, they obviously have, like, a terrible first impression of each other. Yeah. I, also, she is basically forced there. Like, literally, like, she tried to run, and her father broke her knee, like, shatter her knee to the point that she could not walk properly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I don't know if that's accurate. I don't think that's accurate. Like, accurate enough, Also, it's, like, maybe? closest friends. Rylan's not. I wouldn't technically consider Rylan They're a friend. They're all just lovers. Yeah, they all just used to fuck. I would say the only one who's an actual friend of theirs is Wolf. But then Wolf would be, like, a friend with benefits. Like, there was never a romantic relationship with Wolf. Yeah, between but. Between the three guys, they just fucked. And then but because Malachi and Rylan had like a had an thing. actual relationship. Yeah. 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 I don't know how like a- that's accurate enough to to choose to read the book, I think, but not actually accurate for what yeah. happens in the book. Agreed. Um, OK, let's get into this plot because like. We'll we'll stop along the way because nothing really happens, to be honest. So basically she gets dumped there. She gets dumped there. He almost kills her. They dance around each other. Wolf shows up. Then Wolf and Malachi have sex. She catches them. Also wants to join in. Then all three of them have sex. Then and then at Rylan that point shows they up. like no, they at that point after At that point, they're like no, no, no. we should get you out of here. <laughs> Yes and no. I think Wolf shows up because he's like, I have a plan to get you out of here simply by killing Mina. Mina. But then he meets Mina and then there, he's like, oh, I don't think she's fully human. Like, I Because she's a vampire, so she's half human. Half- Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it's pronouncing it in my head. <laughs> I'm just such an idiot. Okay, no, keep going. That makes way more sense. You obviously weren't paying attention to <laughs> the Vampire Academy books, which is the first introduction of a da- vampire for us. The vampire, she's nope. a vampire. Nope. Anyway. Keep going. It's probably pronounced very differently, but nope. that's how that I makes more it. sense. That makes sense. Anyway, so she's she's like half human, so she has like she thinks she has no powers. She's basically like basically human, whereas her dad can like glamour, basically. Yeah, like, like he can like glamour himself he can command you and he could like throw illusions so you feel like basically like lost in like whatever he decides to yeah. cast so that's the reason she was thrown she's basically sacrificed, sacrificed to be a blood bank and a, a womb yeah because her dad wants her to have hopes that like at at best she just feeds him at mm-hmm. worst she feeds him and has his kid and then he has control over this kid with other powers because Malachi has fire yeah. power. Basically. Yeah, they're like it's like bloodline powers. So like yeah. every bloodline has different powers. Then Wolf has Wolf the power has... of blood. I, I thought I that was, was very, weird. I thought that was I was really confused at what they could do with that because like control people though that makes sense. Like I guess, almost like but a... then the, when his sister shows up and she can do like blood bullets, I'm like. What the fuck is a blood bullet? Like, what? to poison you. So she, like, basically shoots you with... No, no, no. Blood she blood full blood. on, like... I think she, like... Shoots blood? The idea is, like, she makes a certain part of, like, your body Shoot explode. Itself. Oh. So, like, because they aim for the neck. And so... So she just needs to be able to see it. Yeah. And then oh that's that's my idea because she did have a gun but she was just using the scope yeah she didn't actually shoot it she didn't actually shoot it interesting because why why would they need a specific person to do blood bullets when that yeah that that was a yeah and then rylan can shape shift he can shape that was weird i was like that that's not like okay not that all vampires have to fit into like the stereotypical norm of a vampire but I was just not expecting that. That's all. I just thought their powers would be a little bit cooler. I was hoping for like water. I don't know. 
But they, when she listed that as being one of them, I was like, cool. I hope one of them has a water power. So no. anyway, so Wolf is like, oh, she's not entirely human. Rylan's supposed to show up because he wanted to show up like right when like you were about to be released kind of thing. So he basically he shows up. He shows he up. He thinks he's going to break them out. And then he's and then like, he's like, but we'll they're just like, kill her. Mina has to come with us. Because like Bo- Wolf is just like obsessed with her instantly. And Malachi's like falling in love with her. Yeah. And Rylan's like, ew, she's like fucking half human. Like gross. I- but then he, no, but he knows that she's not human she's, though. He's like, like, she's half vampire and half something else. But he's like, I can't tell what it is. And he's like, okay, my question is, so she is like half angel. What, yeah. What do they call it? A, a, a Sarah, Seraphine. I, I, I recognize it. It's, it's I like, I know how to pronounce it. Yeah. I can't remember what the term is actually called, but she's half angel, half fallen angel. But basically. like, so her dad had like a vamp. So her dad was a vampire. Yeah. But her dad had like a suspicion that she wasn't powerless i don't understand what happened to her mom like her mom her, must she have had been her mom died i thought her mom was just chilling at the no she had her mom died oh because i think the mom was half angel half human and then so it didn't manifest in her and then so she's actually a quarter but for whatever reason she got like a va- like all the juice man. yeah i guess i guess like maybe it, it's like twins it just so basically what happens is that they decide to break this blood war to get malachi By free doing a sex witch ritual which pretty much like, they're just gonna like okay okay that was super fucking confusing it was com- i like i understand like, she either idea. has to die or be so sexed up that yeah, like that like the- she has like no control over anything because basically <laughs> they're <laughs> they're like she was like no i have like no powers I'm absolutely fucking useless to you guys. And they were like, no, it's blocked in your brain. So how did I even know that? I don't know. Cause every time like they don't, she doesn't think like something or she has a certain viewpoint of something. They'd be like, no, that's not it. And then right. Cause Rylan would be like, oh, I'm super old. I know this stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's basically what happens. And so, yeah. So he basically is like, yeah. So I think we're just going to, I didn't have to kill her or basically all have sex with her so that her power like she gets like literally she becomes to the point where she cannot control the the, like blocker of her power and it will release and break the blood ward. My problem is so when they have sex, they bond. I don't understand the bonds. Is that like That's that's an angel thing, but like, no, 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 I like. Is it like faded mates kind of thing, yeah, or is it of. like every person you have sex with is bonded now? The way that because I s- they kept joking that she should have sex with the sister, the sister, and then she could the be bonded. Sister. And I was like, "What? I, I thought you guys were like fated to be bonded." To be honest, I don't think they understood either because they kept being like, "We're bonded," so they were like, "They're basically it's basically like kind of like the same thing as faded mates, That's where the they like I got didn't want to be like away from each other." they like or it's that like she picked them like she like her body picked them to be mates and they didn't pick it which is why like my one of the biggest points i have here is what the fuck was with rylan because he basically just like never apologizes he just like is such an asshole for like the entire second part of the book and then it's just like okay you're right i should just give in and then he's just like happy go lucky and he's like happy to be there and i was like what the fuck like he never apologizes yeah. for like almost so ba- yeah because he basically he shows up and he's like maybe i should just kill you while they're occupied and like because like he doesn't want her there he doesn't want to help her he he's basically there for malachi and that's it and then they get bonded and he fucking hates it so he keeps trying to do everything possible to get out of this bond yeah because to the, the point that they like she literally like Floats the idea of like getting a demon to break the bond for them because he hates it so much that she's like he must fucking hate my guts. Yeah, it was weird because so the first book ends or first part ends basically with when them the breaking. bond is the bond is they're all bonded now and she's they realize that she's half or a part like fallen angel 
and has bonded them. And then the and the, the war is gone. And then they have to run. So they have to run because her dad's gonna come after them now that the war is gone. And then this, the second part starts with like basically Rylan just like being an asshole for like the first quarter of the book. Yeah, and then he's like, but he's like so attracted to her that he still wants like they still have to like connect to like f- to like place the bond no because he has they have to be like close to each other so he has to stay in the yeah. house he cannot leave like there's like a radius at this point that like they can't leave until the and then the bond will tell them to come back if they get too far so her malachi and wolf are like kind of just like yeah having a like, relationship a they also plan at this point the only way to overthrow her father is to get her pregnant. They're like, okay, so if she just gets pregnant, then she'll become the heir of his, like... Yeah, because she has other siblings. Like, kingdom, basically. Yeah. It, to me, it was, like, a regional thing, so I assume, like, in that region, yeah. he's the leader of all the vampires. It was something like that. Yeah, but, like, she had other siblings that were also trying to have some form of kid. Yeah, so basically, like, he, she then's like, she used to show up and be like, I'm pregnant, which means that I can take over, and then, but then find a way to have him not lock her up and steal the baby. Yeah, basically their plan was, but they're like, we'll we think gotta, about that when it we gotta show up, tell him that you're pregos, ha- name you the heir, and then kill him. Well, we're there basically instantly. Like basically, name you the heir. Otherwise, he'll have take everyone you away. acknowledge of it. Yeah, and then he. But if you if we don't do it it publicly, he finds out you're pregnant. He could just kidnap you, lock you up, and be like, "Hey, look, I had another kid." Yeah, and claim the baby as his own, and the kid could just like also have like fucking powers. Also, they all have each other's powers now. Because the bond that was something that they never really explained. They never explained I was it waiting, until I was because the he, epilogue. When Rylan yes. calls his mom. I thought his mom was going to come, and then they're going to have a weird showdown, but she was going to explain a lot of the stuff. But no. But I think it never happened. It, so there was a I lot of, like... if she planned this as, like, a full novel, it pro- that probably would have been thrown in. Because that but was... because it's... Maybe it was cut. They're novellas. I think she planned... She plotted it very differently. Because it felt like that was a plan... But that it, you never actually. Got I felt it. like I Maybe felt like this should like have been like out. three full length novels instead of like novellas. Because like yeah. at the very end, because basically most of the time you know Malachi is like the main guy. Pretty much, she's basically picking favorites here, and she picked Malachi's favorite, which is like, and so you yeah. learn a little bit about. You don't really learn too much about Malachi. You learn a little bit about Rylan. And then in the very e- end of the third part, you're like, oh, yeah, you know nothing about Wolf. So we got to throw in some family drama. His sister has to show up, even though he hates his family. And it's like, you had to throw that in because you learn- You basically only thought he was, like, a psychopath. Well, and then Grace. But then she, her family owes Rylan. But they never explain what... He Rylan did? always is like, yeah, I'm calling him favors. And you're like, okay. But they, there was a lot of like, it it felt like this should have been a not, like, should have been at least a duet. This should have been a duet. Yeah. Because like, there were so many things that like, either she had it as a longer book and she cut it and then made it novellas, or it actually was longer novellas and they edited pieces out that maybe. like explained p- bits. Because like, there were so many things that I just was like, Okay, wait, so where I think they could have spent more time. I think if they split it into duets, I can't believe we're like, I'm plotting this out. If they split it into duets, I think they should have spent more time in that house before they broke the blood bond. I think they ended the book. She ended the book correctly of them going on the run. Yeah. But I think they should have spent more time with like bonding, Wolf, like Wolf, actually yeah, bonding. Wolf and Rylan. Rylan. A lot of, a lot of the bonding is off page. So like, yeah. Her spending a lot of time with Malachi is off page. It'll just like one chapter. It'll just be like, so it's been two weeks since I've been stuck here. And like, it's a lot of off page stuff where she's like, I'm sexually attracted to him, but you haven't done anything. Cause like, yeah. Cause realistically, like they go on the run. 
they go to this house. They meet Grace, who's like a no, monster no, no. They hunter. Don't, they don't meet her. She she meets Grace after they get kidnapped. Yeah, because she sneaks out and she's like, "Hey, girl, do you need a ride?" <laughs> yeah, basically, she just shows up and she's like, mm, "I heard the alarm's going off." Uh, yeah, so the guys get captured by her dad. She meets Grace, who's this monster hunter who Rylan like saved her family yes, once upon a time so they like owe so him. it's like a family like favor or family like the family owes him basically so grace like picks her up they decide maybe they should like ask a demon for a favor but, yeah but the demon the de- the demon always takes seven years of your life so this is like a connection i think she needed i don't know why but this is like a like this all happens in the same world as the, so the, the the deal with the demons series. And there's another book that I read that also connects uh, the demons bargain peculiar taste. Uh, it's from the peculiar taste is a what's like an anthology where she wrote one novella for an anthology and that also is connected to this. It's all from the same world. But yeah, basically, so you'll see Grace in the book deal. three deal Which with the demon isn't out till march yes um but yeah basically grace it's decides grace? to sacrifice herself because it's like a it's like a is she has her own own plan and she's like wow this conveniently works out works me. out I'm gonna so go to the she demon so in order to get this demon to help them release the guys from because they've been kidnapped Grace pays the price, but Grace wanted to get that deal, but she's like, convenient, you can have the rest of it. I just want this part of it. So, he saves the guys, dumps them all in this house, and they're like... That's like, not even that far. It's not like other side of the country far. It's like, oh, they drove you two hours that way? That way. And then, but then they were like, okay, so now that we're in this house, uh... We should just go kill her dad. Oh yeah, we're pregnant. Okay, so oh, yeah. do you want it? And she's like, "Well, let's let's say yes and figure it out after we kill him." And they're like, "Okay, cool." And I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, because she like the entire time she starts thinking about the pregnancy, because they also didn't teach her anything no. while they were on the run. So she gets. I, like, I don't understand why they didn't figure this out before because they she figures out she's pregnant and this baby's sucking all her powers out. So she's basically useless because she could use their powers because she inherited them from the bond. Yeah. But because she's pregnant, she just, she's not full strength. And then the demon is like, yeah, that baby's going to suck you dry. Here, I'll put a little shield in there because they could have taught her how to shield her powers but because they wanted to be able to like read her moods. read her moods and read her mind they taught her absolutely no control yeah but then it because yeah everything happens so fast but so slow at the same time it, it feels like a, a long book but nothing happens in this book all they do is yeah. fuck <laughs> Because I basically, it's like, one of my notes was it's kind of weird how they solve every problem with sex. It's like, okay, so this is the problem. Okay, let's have sex. Okay, you know what? Now I that mean, we have sex and we're laying I in would, the afterglow, let's talk about the actual problem. <laughs> I would argue this is more of erotica rather than a romance. Yeah. Because you don't really get any this development is, in any of the relationships. This is, I would definitely call this erotica romance yeah like an erotica erotic romance because it's definitely borderline we're like you get just enough to call it a romance but not quite enough to yeah. just call it a romance because they basically just like go back kill her dad which happens in like a single chapter it's single, like literally five pages because she just shows up her dad's like you're dead to me and she's like, but I'm Prego's. And he's like, well, if I kill you, then... It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. And she's like, make me the heir. And he's like, absolutely fucking not. And she's like, well, then I'm going to kill you anyway. So then they kill him. And then they take they, this they take it. over this the siege. And they basically, like... The book ends with them being like, okay, we're going to deal with this all tomorrow. Let's go to the room. I'll have sex. And then tomorrow we'll figure it out. And then it ends. That's and it. And then it ends. And then you <laughs> yeah, get the... I thought I felt epilogue. like you, you get, get like a lot more... You got so much more in the epilogue than you did for the rest of the book. Yes. 
Cause the- but Ryland still isn't in it. He's just like this random. I just felt like I felt like he was a you random didn't, character that was just you didn't tossed really in. need. Yeah, you didn't really. He, need you didn't really him. need him. Didn't the need only him. reason that he served any any purpose was the fact that she inherited his power, and that's how she killed her dad. I, Otherwise, he served no purpose. Yeah. I mean, I think they also <laughs> yeah. they also kind of needed that like weird angsty section because you know. Where he, he like harems. basically almost he basically kills her. Ha- like kills her, hates her guts. I didn't like that section because I was like, this is super toxic. Because she's like, it just felt like such a toxic relationship because they're stuck together, and she's like, I don't want to leave, and he doesn't want to leave, but we hate each other. Yeah, basically, because she was it just like, felt really toxic. And I was it like, it was really toxic. It was also like she was like, I like him. I would like to try to develop a relationship with him, but he hates my fucking guts. So, but the then they only have, like, way- hate sex. Yeah, they do have hate sex. Basically, she's like, it hurts. The bond is hurting every time you I try to leave. Sex. So then he stays. They fuck, and then basically he almost kills her. And then he just and like- then Malachi is basically like, you got to get your fucking like both Wolf and Malachi are like, you almost killed her. You got to get your fucking shit together because if you don't get your shit together and she fucking dies, I'm gonna hate your fucking guts. And then he was like, oh. Yeah, a I guy guess, I actually love. I guess I really like her, and it's like, wh- and there's never like a, like a hey, I'm really like they don't actually talk about it. They never talk about it. It's they just, just like, like it. Just suddenly he's just like happy just, to be there. Yeah, <laughs> it's just super weird. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. I I had I I also had a note about their like their first solo sex scene being that like she almost dies. She almost dies. She almost dies multiple times, and it, they yeah. almost bleed her dry so many times because it seems like these guys who are hundreds of years old absolutely have no fucking control yeah the what i did like about this book is the fact that you get sex scenes between just the guys yeah that i liked because that's like pretty rare in a book where that is reverse harem you often only get like the guys only only have relationships i only really find that when i read like like an omega verse reverse harem where yes. like yeah. two of the guys have like a relationship where like if you're just reading a normal reverse harem like a like a contemporary reverse harem yeah, you then don't it's really not the case get. it's yeah. that like usually their only connection is her like maybe they're friends but they don't actually have they, they don't have sex with each other they're just like friends and they all have sex with her yeah so like that I did like and like I did think the polyamory was good but yeah I like i just so many like unexplained things were like i was like wait what like i kept yeah they there is okay her powers and they never happen they never really they they don't really go into depth with anything i think this i think if she plotted out differently as like a book rather than novellas like in a full-length novel this should have been a duet yeah but i mean like she wrote them as novellas and then they were just like let's release them all in one book because i think they probably were like let's release them all in one book so people read them before they go into the deal with the demon because when did the deal so the i own the first deal with the demon book because i really liked it and it came out probably and... because grace's book is coming out soon so they were like oh we gotta gotta give some connection to why grace doesn't want to be there okay so the deal with the demon series came out first so the dragon's bride came out in march 2022 then the crack uh then this book came out the court of the vampire queen came out in september the kraken sacrifice which is book two of the demon deal with the demon came out october and then the demon's bargain which is that novella in the anthology also came out later in october and then yeah it was probably like she released this because she knew grace's book was coming up and she wanted some yeah form of and content. then grace's book the gargoyles captive comes out in march i definitely didn't expect grace to end up with the gargoyle i thought she was gonna end up with him uh yeah that's what i'm thinking but like you have to read the i i do i do have to say it did make more sense to me having read because i've read both the deal with the demon series the two the two books that are out i've also read the like two point it's good like it, it says book four but like it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a 
2.5 the demon's bargain which is about another demon that works under the demon that you meet in this book when am i gonna get the i guess she probably she's probably planning on giving this demon a book because they like hint hint he does because he takes five humans in the in the bargain with a uh demon series and the last book i'm pretty sure is his because he keeps one in the first book you he auctions them all off and he but he keeps one so i'm I, he she he must get a book he well he has to i know he does but i mean anyway. i would say read those books those books were good maybe i'll go and get into those books um i mean overall rereadability i don't think i'd reread this i wouldn't reread this i think the i think my so do you want to get into your rating yes so like my rating i would give this probably just like a solid three because like my i was like i had a good time but there were multiple points that i was like what the fuck am i reading here yeah like what is going on there was multiple moments that I was like, this is really fucking wild. All right, let's keep going. I gave going. this a three because I just kept, I just kept, it was like, she did everything halfway. Like yeah, I, like, kept, I kept waiting I for the a, second part. I had a decent time reading this, but I, I'm not going to revisit felt, it. It felt, it didn't feel finished though. Yeah. And maybe, maybe there's another book that comes out that ties things together at some point. I'm assuming his book like the demon's book you're probably gonna get some form of like wolf in there maybe maybe because they were friends before and they mention her like whoever the girl is that he takes so maybe but yeah it felt very like half finished like a lot of the the details you were like wait what Mm -hmm. because yeah i gave this a three steaminess i mean five five five, because all they do is fuck so for sure five out of five but like overall rating definitely a three uh but i recommend this i mean i I mean it depends on what you're in the mood for because i think i obviously i think i would recommend other vampire books before if you were looking for like a paranormal romance i would be like i'd have other books or like a monster romance i'd have other books but if you're looking for like I want something that's like erotica, but like <laughs> that's plot. It has like a little bit of plot. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this. I would be like, okay, if you just want to read the everyone fucking, here you go. I would recommend this if you're gonna read the other the other books that connect the series. I guess because. Because I don't know. I guess we'll Grace s- of this. Like, I guess we'll see once we get Grace's book if you actually did need any of this context. Yeah, I guess we'll find out in March when, we, <laughs> when it comes out. I'll be reading it, so I'll let you guys know. I guess. Um, I don't know any any last words. No, I haven't read really that many of Katie Roberts like. I was starting to uh, to audio listen to like the audiobook of um, Neon Gods. Neon Gods. I heard that I the, the voice actors are not good. I hate the dude's voice. I've like, heard the dude, that. <laughs> it just like it was it was really bad. And the thing is, I don't want to buy them, so maybe I'll wait for them to go to the library and get them. But I heard that I listened to another podcast who yeah. reviewed the audiobook and they I both shat on the, the, the guy I, actor the dude and he also did another book that i recently listened to he did the um my killer vacation and oh. we'll say not the best at girl voices because he does the like he does he makes it very like high-pitched breathy but you can tell he's like it's like kind of like it sounds kind of like mocking-esque but oh, i know he's I not like doing that. it but anyway t- I have, yeah, I haven't read it. This I've, is technically I, my first full Katie Roberts. I have read, the only other books I've read from her are the Deal with the Demon books. In that series. So, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because this connects. I didn't realize it connected until after we read it. And I realized Well, that- I didn't realize that until, until like, you get, because you get a little snippet of Deal with the Demon King. Or, like, Deal with the, 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 the dragon, dragon one. The Dragon's Bride. Which yeah, I bought. You get a I little snippet of it at the at the very end, and I was like, "Oh, this is a connection here." It's all the same world, but like when 
Grace was introduced, and when I don't, I forget the demon's name. He was introduced. I was like, "Wow, demons, demon hunters." I cool. soon as, as soon as they said the seven year thing, I was like, "Ooh, a person who's connected." And then as it went on, I was like, and then "They said Grace," and I was like, "Pretty sure, pretty sure she." Because then when she said, "Oh, you know how to contact the demon," and she was like, "Yeah, I want to contact him. Like, can you call him?" I was like, "Pretty sure this is connected." So she didn't even contact him pr- properly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like a well, sad another little, like, another a she, another time she almost dies she like cuts herself like to summon the demon and she cuts herself too deep and she's like bleeding so she's out bleeding out and circle. he's like this is just sad this is just sad i'm gonna fix that because i'm friends with one of your men but you really need to fucking get your shit together because what the fuck is this <laughs> yeah it's a it is a weird scene um okay now any final last words I mean, I had a decent time with this book. Yeah, I, I would read it. It definitely. It was like I read it in a one day. Okay, I definitely didn't do that. It's like a five hour. Oh well, for me it was like five hour. I was like breezing through this thing. But it took me a while. It is to like get a five hundred. It, it is a five hundred page book because I kept being like, "Is it over?" It's also yet? Kindle Unlimited. So. It is Kindle Unlimited. That's very true. That's key. Kindle Unlimited is key. Um. All right. On that note, we'll see you next week rate review subscribe tell your friends follow us send us book recommendations please any books you think we should do i'm into demon or not demon monster books right now so like any monster monster romance give me give me some racks send them our way until next time bye